Hello fellow sleuths, my name is Brooke and this is my new series called Painting the Missing. My goal is to cover unsolved missing persons cases. I'm hoping to keep these stories alive and spread awareness. While explaining the circumstances of their disappearance, I will be painting a portrait which I hope will keep their face fresh in people's minds. Today's missing person is Kristen Moafri. Kristen was born in Danbury, Connecticut and was raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. Kristen disappeared on June 23, 1997 in San Francisco, California. A student at North Carolina State University, she was spending the summer in Oakland, California on a park scholarship. Kristen was going to take photography classes at UC Berkeley, which were due to start the day after she disappeared. Kristen was leaving work at Spinelli's Coffee Shop in the Crocker Galleria Mall on the afternoon of her disappearance. She finished her shift around 3 p.m. and mentioned visiting Baker Beach for a party. 45 minutes after the end of her shift, co-workers noticed Kristen with an unidentified blonde woman still in the Galleria. To this day, this woman has not been identified or come forward. The last video of Kristen showed her withdrawing money from her bank account. The next day, Kristen failed to attend her $925 photography course and didn't pick up her $400 paycheck from the coffee shop. Her roommate had noted she hadn't returned home but didn't alert anyone. It wasn't until days later that her father left a voicemail for her and her roommate returned the call to say they hadn't seen her in three days. Kristen's parents immediately flew out to San Francisco and reported her missing to the Oakland Police Department on Friday, June 27th. Officers did not begin the investigation until Monday, June 30th, though, and this was exactly a week after Kristen was last seen. Police dogs led to a bus stop at Sutro Heights Park, but then lost her scent. Near this spot, Kristen's parents found a newspaper ad for a woman seeking female friends. There was no indication that Kristen was the one who owned this ad or was responding to it. A week later, a man named John Onuma claimed that two women had murdered Kristen and disposed of her body near Point Reyes. Onuma would confess that he had falsely implicated the women because he believed they were trying to get his girlfriend fired from her job at a local YMCA. The police still searched Onuma's apartment, which was located near the Galleria where Kristen had gone missing. They found a sizable amount of blood in his apartment, but it turned out to be from a cat. Notable, though, it was discovered Onuma had previously placed personal advertisements for women in the Bay Area and coerced them into sex. He moved back to his native Hawaii two years later. There was no update to Kristen's case until 20 years later in 2015. A search of Kristen's apartment was redone and a cadaver dog with a high reputation alerted to human remains in the basement. The owner of the dog, a former sergeant, Paul Dusty, suggested that a concrete slab in the basement be excavated and Kristen's roommates be re-interviewed. Forensic anthropologist Dr. Arped Vass visited the house in February 2017. He conducted a scan of the area with a proprietary device which detects human decomposition. The device pinpointed between Kristen's building and the house next door, but the results more likely indicated a crime scene than a burial. A signature of human blood was discovered near a concrete slab at the base of the neighboring property. This blood matched the blood donated by Kristen's parents. What would seem a break in the case was not confirmed by the Oakland Police Department, who said they hadn't received the information and that it hadn't been forwarded and that no information had been disclosed to them. Both Dosti and Voss denied this and stated that the police department had enough data to undertake their own test. Any crime lab would have the required equipment. To this day, Kristen nor her body have ever been found. Kristen was the inspiration for Kristen's law passed in 1999. It provided assistance to families and police in the search for missing persons cases over the age of 17. The law provided funds to organizations like the National Center for Missing Adults, but the funding ran out in 2005 after the law expired. If you have any information on the blonde woman who would have lived in the San Francisco area around 1997, or Kristen herself, please contact the Kristen Foundation or use any of the links I've placed in the description of this video. One tip could be the answer that brings closure to Kristen's family and justice for Kristen. Thank you for listening to me today, and don't forget to like and subscribe to continue and learn about more cases. 
If there's any certain case you'd like me to cover, please leave them in the comments.